Wildfires from Canada have led to tens of millions of people being put under air quality alerts. But don't worry, Marjorie Taylor Greene is on the case. She knows what the problem is. <laughs> I'm going to get to this tweet. And I was going to cover this, this story anyways, these wildfires. But I saw this tweet. And I had to use this as the catalyst for uh, some other points I want to make about Canada. Because there are some incorrect assumptions that people have about Canada and our climate policies. I think it's important to uh, address those in just the most ridiculous <laughs> the most ridiculous perspective that uh, a congressperson, an actual member of Congress, shared on the internet. All right. But first here, some images from New York. Because it, it really is uh, crazy what is going on in New York. They have been impacted, you know, apart from Quebec. Uh, maybe the most here. So check out this. This is from um, Breaking 4 News posted this. New footage from the Washington Bridge, the George Washington Bridge. Check this out. This is something out of a movie. And in fact, I'm going to get to a comparison to a movie in a minute here. But... It really is crazy. This is another great image or great video from uh, NWS New York. Check out the almost unbelievable time lapse of wildfire smoke consuming the World Trade Center and the New York City uh, New York City skyline. Now imagine being down there and breathing that in. There was a Fox News host, uh, Janine Pirro, on a Fox News show yesterday that was uh, poking fun at the idea of people wearing masks outside because of this. You would be an idiot to not wear a mask outside. You want to breathe this shit in? Go right ahead. More here. So over 400 fires burned in Canada and blazes this year have already scorched roughly 9.8 million acres of forest, more than 10 times the acreage that had burned by this time last year, sending smoke billowing down the east coast of the U.S., New York past Washington, D.C., and as far west as Minnesota. Millions of people in the U.S. and Canada are breathing unhealthy air for the now third day in a row, with more than 75 million under air quality alerts in the eastern U.S. and the Canadian capital of Ottawa also hard hit. Both New York and Washington, D.C. canceled outdoor activities at public schools. New Jersey closed its state offices early, and the Federal Aviation Administration slowed air traffic for New Jersey's Newark Liberty International Airport and the LaGuardia Airport because of low visibility. So that's the impact. But now, as I said, Marjorie Taylor Greene knows what's up. Here's where she puts the blame. She tweets out with that image I showed you earlier, the uh, George Washington Bridge, saying New York has the worst air quality in history due to wildfires from Climate Cult Canada. Attempting to communicate here, I can assume that Canada is this climate cult. We are very concerned about the, the climate crisis, we have these extreme measures in place to protect people against the climate crisis, and they haven't worked, which is why our extreme measures have somehow led to worse fires. Before I even get to the Canadian aspect of this, let's just, I mean, go to the, I, I'm surprised that, that Green didn't blame what she normally blames, and that's Jewish space lasers. So I'm sure you all know this by now, but yes. Back, I think it's about about a year before she joined uh, Congress. On Facebook, Marjorie Taylor Greene blamed wildfires on secret Jewish space lasers. This is a member of Congress now. <laughs> so, you know, I guess she has, I don't know, evolved her view on wildfires to now blame the climate cult of Canada. Because a climate cult would uh, lead the G20 in financing fossil fuels, and they would lag in renewable, en uh, renewable energy funding. Oil Change International finds Canadian governments provided $14 billion per year to oil, gas, and coal. That's in Climate Cult Canada. A climate cult would be led by a leader that says this. As I said on the very first trip to the oil patch back in 2012, no country would find 173 billion barrels of oil in the ground and just leave them there. 
There's climate cult leader Justin Trudeau discussing the importance of digging up fossil fuels. There's also Greta Thunberg has been very critical of Justin Trudeau over the years. This is from three years ago now, uh, quoting Bill McKibben's piece in The Guardian. If an alcoholic assured you he was taking his condition very seriously, but also laying in a 40-year store of bourbon, you'd be entitled to doubt his sincerity. Speaking to the idea that Trudeau can often pretend he cares about this issue, but when there are new investments into fossil fuel projects, how can you claim you actually care about the issue? So Bill McKibben's piece, which I, I believe I covered back when he put it out, is fantastic. When it comes to climate hypocrisy, Canada's leaders have reached a new low. A territory that has 0.5% of the Earth's population plans to use up nearly a third of the planet's remaining carbon budget. This is the climate cult, apparently. Just a complete moron. Lauren McKenzie here sharing this. This just... I both laughed and cried at uh, this image. So this is New York City on Monday. New York City on Wednesday. And Blade Runner 2049. <laughs> just, the air is cleaner in Blade Runner 2049 compared to New York City Wednesday. Absolutely insane. Then you have Fox News. With this headline, Biden joins AOC in linking Canadian wildfires to climate crisis. Going on to write, President Joe Biden has joined far-left squad member Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez in linking the ongoing Canadian wildfires pouring smoke into the U.S. to the climate crisis. They put it in quotes. What? How is there still... Like, if you want to pretend that the solution to the climate crisis is something different than what scientists are saying, that would at least be an evolution of this argument, of just straight up denying it and putting it in quotations as it's not a thing. I, I, I don't even know what to say to these people anymore. Wildfire experts, and by the way, I could be quoting climate change experts, which apparently are on the take from big nature, <laughs> but let me go to uh, the wildfire experts. They see the signs of climate change in the dryness, intense heat, and longer fire season that have made these fires more extreme. So experts in all these fields, they don't even have to be connected to the climate scientists. They see how different it is now. This is, this is why, so uh, this morning I saw another, I didn't include it here, maybe, no, it's not worth including. But Brian Kilmeade on Fox and Friends in the morning uh, was making the case where he said something to the effect of, you know, when it rains, they blame climate change. When there's a tornado, they blame climate change. When there's a fire, they blame climate change. Yes, all these things existed before. Yes, there have been tornadoes. There has been rain. Of course, there's been, yes, all these things, fires, all of this has, has existed before. The difference now is the, is the occurrence, is how often it happens, the intensity of it happening how widespread it is. That's the effect of climate change. That is the difference. It's how massive these wildfires are. I, I just talked about Quebec. There's been wildfires in, in BC, in Nova Scotia, Alberta, all over Canada, all at the same time. This is just, this is very clear. It, trying to debate any of these people, it's like, smashing your head against the wall because you're not going to uh, talk sense into anyone who's still on this bullshit, who still does not understand the reality of what climate change is doing to the, to the, the world. Last thing here from Common Dreams, the smoke emergency comes as the Sunrise Movement and 63 other climate and frontline groups are launching a week of action on Thursday today to demand that President Joe Biden declare a climate emergency and reverse recent approvals of fossil fuel projects like the Willow Project in Alaska, which I covered, I think, uh, last month in a video, and the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Organizers said a protest planned outside the White House Thursday would continue with a backdrop of wildfire smoke and N95 masks available for participants. So it is, again, the, the only thing that ever gives me hope are these sorts of groups and especially um, younger people that are very engaged, a lot more engaged in what is going on than people of the past. I mean, even millennials, uh, Gen X, boomers, 
were not as engaged in politics in in these sorts of issues when they were the same age as Gen Z is right now. So it's really good to see this sort of involvement. And again, that's the only thing that really gives me any hope. But you also got Marjorie Green. <laughs> I don't. I got nothing left. I got nothing left to say. I I have to laugh off because how crazy these people are. Because what else am I going to do? This is the shit I have to cover every day. So Marjorie Green, complete clown, a member of Congress. Absolute moron. <laughs>